Hey Eagle Run 2-3 here. So I had an unfinished project here setting on my bench and I don't even know where I left off. It looks like I was on the fine and it looks like I got a pretty nice finish here. Let's uh, kind of pick back up here and see if we can finish off this pocket knife. Oh yeah, that's really smooth already. We'll give this a couple on each side. And I think we can call this knife done. See how we did here. All right, so we've got a really nice edge on there. This is the pocket knife that lives in my truck console. And I opened a bunch of boxes, and it was a little dull. I thought I'd touch it up, but goodness, that was months ago. So this is my Tech Studios knife sharpener. It's called the TS Profile, or TS Proof, you'll see it sometimes. Um, I was one of the first on YouTube to have this. I saw this on a video from Wrangler Star, and I ordered it before the video was even over. It took a couple months to come in, maybe about six months, but I really enjoy it, and it puts a beautiful edge. It came with two of these stones, and I've been using them for a while. They're showing nowhere, easy to keep flat. I have a lot of videos on my channel about this if you're interested. Uh, YouTube makes about half of them demonetized. I'm not sure why sharpening a pocket knife is demonetized. This video will probably be demonetized also. But um, anyway, I uh, just try to film what's going on here at my workbench. But trying to get back in the swing of things, we've crossed a thousand subscribers. And I didn't really think that would ever happen. So um, coming up soon, let me give you a little tip here as we're cleaning off the workbench and um, trying to get back into the swing of things. It is cooling off here in Texas. It'll only be in the mid-90s today. So I had a chance to get out here in the garage this morning and thought I would finish this up and clean up my workbench. You have probably already seen the shovel restoration video if you haven't go check it out it was really fun that's a shovel that's been in the family for a long time and i was glad to uh clean it up a little bit i have a lot of these gardening shears that are just junk and i don't i'm gonna i've been saving them because I, I don't i try not to just throw everything away um the lock on that one doesn't even work it's an old pair of fiskers these have just been on a shelf and I don't really know what to do with them so in our next video I have a couple of good ones that I'm gonna restore put a new edge on them maybe paint them clean them up they definitely need a wire wheel and then I'm gonna take a look at these and see if any of them are worth restoring or if they're just junk this one looks like an off-brand Cinturon it's all rusty that that chrome is not gonna clean up very nice but We'll take a look at them and see. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, if you enjoy, give us a thumbs up. And uh, we'll see you on the next video.